Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and it is Tuesday morning. Um, I put a video up, <clears throat> two two part video of uh, the jewelry that I uh, purchased yesterday. I'm going to show it with the daylight because it does show a lot better. But I know a lot of you had wanted me to put it up as soon as possible, so I did it last night um, under just my little lamp here. So I'm going to show them quickly. Um, the prices will be on the other videos because I'd have to go through all of it and my. Um, my phone is not working right for me to uh, upload videos or um, just something to do with the storage and I've been trying to delete as much as I can. So anyway, okay, we'll start with the uh, signed piece here, which is Vendôme. Um, this would be between um, 1944 and 1979. Um, these are made of metal and that's what that looks like. It's just beautiful, and like I said, on a nice dark piece, or rather, dark clothing, it would look beautiful. And it's in excellent condition. And I'll just show you, I wore a navy blue top just so that you could kind of see what it would look like. Whoops, if you're wearing black or um, a darker color, and it's just lovely. So I still have that one. I sold a few pieces last night. And I have the black um, tin earrings. This is what they look like. And I just love them. They're just beautiful. And then I had the uh, silver um, pin, flower pin. That's what it looks like. And it's not heavy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not heavy. And that's what that would look like. And it has a really nice uh, rhinestone in the middle. And then there was this ring. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. And it has the um, pearl in the middle. I would say this would be probably an 8 or 9. And I would imagine a jeweler could do something to size it. Look at the work. It's just beautiful. And then I had this one. This one would be a, I believe, a seven. That's what this stone looks like. You can see the, uh, the patina in it. see inside from the years of wear. And that's what that one looks like. And then I have, this one would be a six, size six. It is tiny. It has beautiful, beautiful stones in there. They're like a baby pink. All the stones are intact. It's just lovely. And then I have this one, which is adjustable. And this one's beautiful. It has the, um, Bailey, please stop. It has the beautiful pearl in the middle here. It is nice and lustrous. There are no chips on it. It has the enamel paint and, um, I don't, I don't remember what they used here for the um, actual metal. I forget. I am so tired. Um, I worked hard last night. That's that one. Okay, and then I had, I want to show you this piece up close. This is the piece that I showed you last night that is a coral. And this, I believe, would be in the 1920s because of the way they marked their jewelry in the 1920s. There's different hallmarks that they had on the back of their jewelry which dated them. So that's um, this one and it is gorgeous. It looks like real green amber. Whether it is or not, I do not know. But it sure feels nice. And it is set in there. 
with such quality. It's just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the colors there. And it just lays perfect. It's flat, you don't even know it's on. It's just so comfortable. They made the pieces so comfortable and the metals were comfortable. Um, you know, you didn't have, they were, how can I say that? It was soft at the back. There was no picks or missed um, places where they didn't uh, um, file it down. I think you know what I'm saying. You can just tell a quality piece. This is gorgeous and it does have the um, um, the hook clasp and it does have also have the marking on the hook, hook clasp so you do know this is the original chain that went with it it's just beautiful okay so I'm glad I found that one um, this is a black glass bead um, necklace with the filigree pattern in gold and I showed this last night. You can see the luster better today in the sun. I showed this last night, and I thought these earrings that I picked up would go perfect with them. That's what they look like. Those or these, because you can still see the shine, okay, where the glass beads have the shine as well. So that's what you want to do is you want to find something that's similar. So I thought either pair <clears throat> would look great. And then I have this necklace, and this has a marking of Y-O-U. <clears throat> I don't know what the other marking is. I did look up um, what I thought it was, an S um, or a, what was it, an S or an I beside it. And it does have the logo. Just a second. Okay. This is what it looks like. And you can see that it has the, the logo here. So I tried to look that up as much as I could. I did find a couple of makers, or two actually makers, um, that uh, had that, not the symbol, but just the Y-O-U, and I tried I and I tried S. But anyway, it is a vintage piece. You can tell just by the way it's made. It's just gorgeous. It has the Aurora Borealis stones in them. I don't think you can pick up on them very well because, um, well, they're the bottom ones here. You kind of see how it's got that different tone to it, the rhinestone. These are glass beads here, black glass beads. Then it has the filigree balls here. It's just gorgeous. It's a nice statement necklace. Just pretty. And then I had this one. This one is not heavy. It is definitely vintage. That's what the back looks like. You can see the wear. And it has like a... Um, stone here in the, in the middle, has the original chain, and that's what that one looks like. That is, just screams out vintage. <laughs> okay, and then I had this one. This one is marked um, Tang Yu, T-E-N-G, and then Y-U-E. This is the maker. And it is a really cool clasp. It has like the little silver ball on here. And then it just pops in and is most comfortable. It holds great. There's no, uh, you're not going to lose it. And this is the um, glass beads on it here. Nice black glass beads with the silver <clears throat> that is going through it. It's lovely. And, oh, I had this guy, and I showed you him last night. This is what the back says. I have not been able to find him anywhere. Um, he is definitely vintage. I can tell by the way the back of this is made. Um, it is heavy. And this is not the original. Um, it was sold as a pendant. So it's not the original chain. And I went on and Disney memorabilia and vintage uh, Disney guys here like this, they, they um, are quite pricey. But anyway, I have to find him somewhere or 
I'll have to get a hold of an antique dealer on the internet and see what he thinks this guy's worth. I did pay a lot for him, but I thought it was a good piece. Okay, I think I showed everything that I have left. <laughs> um, I sold quite a bit last night. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'll upload this so you can get a better uh, look at the pieces. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.